Welcome back to BNN. Today we are diving into Zari's white party, Tanasha's stunning comeback, and KRG's casual surprise. Well, Zari Hassan has hosted a number of white parties across East Africa, even back then when she was still dating Diamond, and this time round the white party was being hosted in her home country, Uganda. Over the past few weeks, we've seen their children hanging out together, that is, Zari Hassan's younger children and Tanasha Donna's son hanging out together like siblings, and it's only been a matter of time, and the next thing we know is Zari and Tanasha hanging out together, who would have thought? It was a star-studded affair with big acts like Conscience, KRG The Dawn, attending the event, and the fact that Tanasha Donna was attending this event had most people glued and curious want to see how they will be. Will Tanasha and Zari be awkward considering they've dated the same guy before? Would they be friendly with each other? How would their encounter be? I know most fans were curious to see that. For Tanasha, this would be the first time we're seeing her public after months being off the social media grid, her last post being on 18th July of this year. Tanasha's speech for me is a 10 over 10. It was giving, simple, elegant, beaded from the hairstyle to the feet itself. It was very nice. For Zari, I've seen her do better. This to me seemed similar to what she wore last year to her white party and even the one for last year was better than this. I feel she could have done better. Zari has often extended the invite to her fellow cast members of Young, Famous and African and this time round Fantana was invited. I thought I'd be seeing her but I haven't seen photos or videos of her at the party so far. KRG was spotted exchanging numbers with Tanasha, but wait, did KRG miss the memo? He came with casual vibes at a white-themed bash. Could Tanasha be gearing up for a young, famous, and African stint? Speculations are running wild after her posed appearance at Zari's bash. We all know Zari and Diamond play the PR game like pros. Is this a strategic move or just a friendly hangout? You be the judge. On the other hand, Zari faced some backlash for allegedly over-filtering her photos. On this photo, people claimed she looked different, basic to some, and Zari was not having any of this. As usual, she took to her Instagram to clap back at the naysayers. So you're pretty, but why do you put makeup? Yeah? Makeup in a chafua. <laughs> makeup in a chafua. You look beautiful as a makeup. Makeup in a, in a nisha. My takeaway would be that Zari, being a gracious host, really made an effort to make Tanasha feel comfortable. However, the history of both of them having dated Diamond made things awkward. Being with the other woman is awkward. Atakama, you've moved on. They seemed like people who are not friends, people who are not in touch with each other, and it seemed a bit awkward for me however much they tried. On the other hand, KRG was looking like he's thirsting over Tanasha. Calm down, you're just exchanging contacts. You might scare her away. Relax, relax. Was the party worth the hype considering the basic ticket was going for 100,000 shillings? In Kenyan money, that's 4,000 Kenya shillings. Was it worth the hype? Were the who's who's? A big deal, what do you guys think? And whose outfit was giving? Who missed the memo? Do share with us in the comment section down below. Until next time, bye.